Just come check out my crib. You know you guys want to see what's in my fridge. You know it. Snacks upon snacks. What's my favorite snack? Right here. What's up, MTV? What's up, man? This is what I call the mansion. So this is nice. You even got the fish pond here. Yeah, and them piranhas in there. Really? Put your finger in, in there. <laughs> this is my room. This is the Snoop Dogg room all the way around. You got pictures on the wall. A lot of people just send me artwork, and I keep it in here. Somebody, a fan, drew that for me. Like that picture of me and Dre right there. Right. A fan drew that for us as well. Wow. Wow, this is... Yeah, it's awesome. real deal over here, baby. Oh, y'all come ball with me one of these weekends and do it up out here. Dog pound stack. While large living is what you would expect from a multi-platinum artist, celebrities of all shapes and sizes are throwing down buku bucks for the home of their dreams. Cases in point, just last year, superstar Will Smith shelled out $7 million for a ranch in Malibu, while actor Leonardo DiCaprio spent a mere $3 million on a Hollywood house once owned by Madonna. But while many stars' cribs are as over the top as their personas, others dodge the limelight in a more subtle, down-to-earth style. I'm running a little bit late, sorry about that. Let's come check out my crib. That's my favorite part of the house. We better start right here. Uh, what I'm talking about. Here we have my daughter, Olivia, taking a little dip in the pool with my nanny. Used to be a wreck back here. It was like a country house. A lemon tree, avocado tree, it was whack. So we want to go tropical vibe. You got to have the barbecue, you know, the stools right here. This is, this is a man's world over here. I need two hands to pick this up. Yeah. I'll barbecue beans on that grill. They don't even fall through. I got a technique. Dancing, 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 dancing. Check out upstairs in Mikasa. Oh, this is the upstairs living room. You now I got to train for the tour. I'll be running on this dumb thing, because you know we play like 20 songs a night now, so got to be running. This is the spare bedroom. Little antique bed here. I think Head stayed in here. Man, everybody stays in this room. That's the room. That's why I got a housekeeper. She can wash the sheets and they're done. Yeah, some wedding photos. We uh, got married on the Queen Mary. And uh, it was a good time. Got nice and saucy. Serena and Olivia, they sleep in here. They get to sneak out at night, you know, when they want to, you know, one and two years old, they got to go to some parties. This is the master bedroom. This is my palace. Got my relative down here, sheep. It's not quite done up yet, but we're gonna get a little Egyptian vibe going. I think I'm a shower man, but if I'm hungover, I'm in that right there. With a little, you know, a little Aveda salt. I wonder what I'm gonna wear today. Black t-shirt or black t-shirt or black or black or black or black or black or black. I don't know. That's, that's pretty bad though when the man of the house has more shoes than the woman in the house. Up on the rooftop at the dog's house. I get, you know, I wanna get away from everybody. I come up here and I play on this. Sometimes I gotta get away. I don't get bothered. People don't come by my house screaming corn or none of that, but they might now. Are you ready? This is my wife's sister, Leela. This is her room. We let her do her thing, you know. I don't know what she's thinking right here, though. She better vote for corn, that's all I know. Somebody's gonna get grounded. Hey, will you give Leela her allowance? She needs leave. Allowance, huh? I only got hundreds. You better bring my change. You. you better start voting for corn. <laughs> this is daddy's room right here with a little bit of um, my wall of fame. This is my favorite plaque right here, I gotta say. This is why, right here. I don't even gotta say, that's why. Thanks, everybody. We love you. Both my daughters, they love to kick it in here all day. All day, a day. Got the little, you know, Sesame Street characters on the wall. You know they gotta have a picture of Dada. They love me, man. We watch Blue's Clues, I watch uh, Cookie Monster's Best Bites, all this. I know those videos by heart. This is my favorite toy choice right here. Check this out. Get up on the side. 
that's my toy I play with. It's my studio. Got everybody on Family Values to sign this. It's kind of cool. I know you can't read that, but got a couple bases in here. That's not all of them. I got like 20 bases or something. I don't even know. Hopefully one day I'll get my lazy behind in here and make some music. I like stuff that's gonna be, you know, 50 years is still gonna be in style. It's a piece I just bought. I love this thing. Antique. Collect all my corn paraphernalia. Might have to open that one day. Life is peachy. This stuff's from Germany, corn. I guess they spell it K-O-R-N. It's a um, hard alcohol. This is a um, antique music box I bought for my daughter. 1895. Little gift she might get when she's 30. Because I know if I give it to her when she's 20, she'd be trying to hawk it. I would. You know you guys want to see what's in my fridge. You know it. Snacks upon snacks. What's my favorite snack? Right here. Fred freestyling right now. I watch MTV all day long, man. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I just do. Some people like sports. I like music. So I watch MTV all day. Don't think I didn't order the tap lights. Uh. Tap, 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 tap. I think we put this on almost every day, Friday, until the next Friday comes up. Well, we're done looking at the dog's crib. It's my ride right here, one of them. Jaguar S-Type. And I got the Navigator right here. That's a big, nasty car. Gotta have the TVs and the headrests for my daughters. They love it. I always have to have them on. Y'all seen my crib? So I guess that'll wrap it up. I guess I gotta go. Up next, find out what Atlanta-based rapper and super producer... It's good to see you. Good to see you. This was done by Marilyn Manson, mm -hmm. and uh, it's, it's of me. You know, uh -huh. I, I believe that he ran home. See, we got into an <laughs> argument. And I believe he ran home and like drew a beard on it. Uh -huh. he, 10 minutes later, he had a painting of me. This is actually a guitar that used to belong, I guess in my mind still does belong to Mr. Kurt Cobain. Wow, uh, I think I, I saw him use that, yeah. actually. We don't really have the trophy room kind of trip. We just like to keep a few of our little keepsakes in the uh, box. Whether it's cars, clothes, or career keepsakes, celebrities' crib collections say a lot about their personal style. Hey, MTV, come on in. I'm Steve from Smash Mouth. Let's go check out my crib. Hey, now, you're an all-star. Get your game on. Go play. No. All we do. <laughs> I'm about to give y'all an exclusive tour of my new house. Come on in. Jigga, I don't like it if it don't gleam. Gleam in the hell with the price, but the money ain't a thing. Well, here we are in the entryway to my house. Walking in, of course, I'm a plant lover, as you can see. This area right here pretty much sets the tone for when, you know, I had a lady come over. And what y'all need to know about this spot is it's getting ready to be the craziest bachelor pad you have ever been to in your life. We're stepping down into more of my game room type thing. Uh, we got the fireplace, the couches. I still have a ton of stuff in boxes, you know, knowing that I just moved into the place. But it's kind of cool to be able to come home off tour and uh, do some unpacking, do some sorting, do some decorating. I kind of like that kind of thing. In here is the pool room. And when I have parties, this is kind of the center attraction of the house where everybody wants to hang out. This would be where I had somebody cook for me. I wanted, like, the Superman look type of table, so that's how you see the the kryptonite type of style table. The mirrors on the wall is kind of, um, it's kind of Hugh Hefner. You know, I put these Elton John candles out all through the house. I went to Elton's house one night for dinner. The house smelled crazy. I could never figure out, like, where he get them candles from. Then I walked through Neiman Marcus one day. He got his own candles for sale. OK, now we're going to go upstairs, check out the bedrooms. I love Shaq. It's a beautiful wood sled bed. I need a bed that can handle a lot of this, you know? Put a little fire on there if it's nice and cool out sometimes. Always got to have a fireplace, you know? Might want to have a girl over. It's like the Eddie Murphy fireplace, too, you know? Snap the fingers, it might just light up on y'all. Follow me on in here. We can do this. We've got your standard marble floors. We've got tons of mirrors. We've got the big glass shower. We've got the jacuzzi bathtub. You know, put some candles on around like I like to do and just kind of relax once in a while and chill. It's only right you had one of these, the gold bottle. You don't have this, you ain't no player, for real. 
I got three bottles of this, because I found out that the girls, they really like this little white zip and Dale. Gotta have this for the women. Would you be mine? This piano right here, that's here if one day Stevie Wonder, somebody come over my house and they want to play. Here we have Mariah, Bill Bellamy, and myself, and we was in Hawaii. I was there for the ride. I'm just telling y'all straight up. JD, you want to go to Hawaii? Hell yeah. This picture right here is another picture of me and Mariah. Another picture of me and Mariah. Don't get no funny ideas. I wanted my couch to be something that if I fell asleep out here, I could really sleep out here comfortable. If you ever find your way to my house and you're not fortunate enough to get in the bed, take the couch. <laughs> you follow me real quick. We're going to check out my beautiful closet that has all my leftover clothes. Usually all my friends that come over to visit, they'll take half of this home with them. This is actually just as big as my bedroom was when I was a kid. Check out my little Elvis, little mini shrine. I've got the Elvis bubblegum trading cards. I've got the Elvis piano watch. Beautiful, I've never wore it yet though. Happened to open one of the packs and tried to bite into some 1978 bubblegum and it didn't really taste too well, so. It started when I was a little kid, about seven years old. I caught him on TV and basically fell in love with the guy. This picture right here means a lot to me. That's me and my daughter, Shania. She real big now compared to that picture. We come into the, the most comfortable room, I think, in the house. I'm such a loud person that I wanted a room where, you know, I could sit and just get quiet for a minute. I read in this room, I watch TV in this room. Sunday night, Sopranos right in this room, you heard? Well, here we are in the kitchen where I don't spend a lot of time. Here's my pantry, nothing in it. I don't shop. Look what we are, we're in the kitchen. And look what we find. A whole stack of Heineken's, a whole stack of Corona. Here's a refrigerator with all the food that's been in here for like three months. I got bread, some butter, and some jelly. I'm a popsicle fanatic, so I usually have a big box of popsicles in my fridge. Tombstone, it's real important. Domino's closed at like 3 in the morning. A tombstone, a corona, I'll take you to the bedroom. Well, now that we've kind of wrapped up the inside of my house and had a good look at that, we're in my favorite part of my property, and this is my backyard. I put the waterfall in because I kind of like the noise of the waterfall. And over here is our jacuzzi, where we do most of our uh, relaxing, actually. This right here, only for the sexy people. So all the fly people, sexy people, this is for you. And the pool ain't really like a, it ain't for all that diving and all that. It's just for bathing and looking beautiful. Gotta have a little trick, you know. And door number one, black Ferrari. You know what the big B is for, right? You see the B right there? They tell me every big dog gotta have this car. So anybody else house y'all go to and they claim they a big dog and they ain't got this in their driveway? They not no big dog. Door number three, 355, drop top. Every time I buy a new ride, ping, ping. The only right you gotta have a truck. I'm missing a cap, so we gonna drive that today. Instead of driving that, we will drive this S500 2K. I shall call him Mini Me. Tape this show and you can keep looking at my car as much as you want to. So, that's a day at JD's crib, you heard? This is my lair. Hey, who am I? Coming up, see what former Playboy model and Prince protege resides in this cozy condo. And remember to check out brand new episodes of MTV Cribs starting Thursday, October 5th at 10 p.m. to get a glimpse at how your favorite stars really live. Last December, 90210 veteran Tori Spelling changed zip codes, moving out of Father Aaron's palatial estate for a $2.9 million starter shack of her own. For many of the music world's junior giants, however, there's no place like the comfort and safety of their family home. You want to go where everybody knows your name. This is my mom's house. I like being here. Well, you're in my junkie room right now. I didn't know you guys were going to come in here. I stay in my room and I talk on the phone, but I love this house. There hasn't been situations where you felt like security was an issue for you, really? Um, no. There was one time where I was at home and this guy came to Kenwood? yeah, oh. came to my house, but he parked like half a block away. Mm -hmm. And thank goodness I wasn't home alone. So he came and he came knocking on the door. I was like, oh my goodness. I'm too scared to live by myself. 
So maybe I'll move in with my friends or something. But when you're in the public eye, there isn't always safety in numbers. This past December, ex-Beatle George Harrison and his wife were attacked in their London house by a knife-wielding intruder, while back in 96, Madonna's bodyguard shot a stalker as he broke into her Hollywood home. One year later, the murder of fashion guru Versace brought new attention to what's become a major celebrity concern. Security is a major issue. Uh, most of the people want something gated, something set off back off the street or, or um, kind of secluded private with trees around it so that they had that sense of security. They would shuttle um, tourists to my house in bus in like buses. They were selling tours. And they were selling yeah. tours and um, eventually had to put up a security fence. <laughs> While outside, fences and cameras can help a star feel secure, some celebrities create their own peace of mind from the inside. Hey, everybody, I'm Carmen Electra, and I'm inviting you into my crib. This is Ganesh. It was a gift that was given to me, and it means good luck. As you can see, I have a lot of flowers. I just thought flowers would really make it look more beautiful. Everybody that walks into my house has to comment on the $20 Kmart lamp that I had to get at the last minute. This room is my living room, obviously. It's where everybody likes to hang out and watch TV. I have another room that I'm gonna show you in a second, and that room is more exotic. So come on. Come on in. This room was just an idea I had. I come in here and I can close the curtains and sort of, you know, be by myself and be in another world. I like to meditate in here. Everyone calls it a genie bottle. So I think it kind of looks like that. I'm a genie in a bottle, baby. Um, I really don't know what to say about this room. I mean, I think it's kind of gothic. You know, we have friends over, we barbecue outside. There's so much more work I have to do here. I just decided to stop because I'm gonna move. Um, I like to play, play my music a little bit too loud so the neighbors in Beverly Hills aren't too happy about that. All right, now we're heading to the second floor of my house and I'm gonna show you my bedroom. So follow me. All right, come on in and see my bedroom. I decided to pick blue because it's one of my favorite colors and it's definitely very feminine. I like the chiffon that's draped. I had someone come in and make it for me. I really love to light candles. I think that candles really set the mood. You know, even though I love to have my friends over, I love to party and dance and listen to loud music, I think it's really important to, to just have time to yourself and to just sit in silence. This is a picture of me and my mom. A long time ago, my mom passed away, so I want to find a place in my house where I can have her pictures and just, you know, like have a place to pray for her. But I um, haven't decided where I'm gonna do that yet. My bathroom is just really, really simple, but it's actually one of my favorite places. Um, I'm really into taking baths. I love girly things. Lots of makeup. I love makeup, as you can see. My closet. Okay, wait, 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 wait. It's a little bit messy. <laughs> So, um, but this is real, you know, this is my real closet. It's what it really looks like. I have hats and wigs and you name it. This is the second closet. I think this Versace shirt is my favorite. I like fur. I like how it sparkles. I love white. I like hats. I like colors. This was a gift. Blue is my favorite color. I have a lot of shoes, but I don't really have as much shoes as other celebrities have. So I'm not really that big on shoes. I like clothes more. Basically, um, that's it. This is the third floor of my house. I decided to put all my covers here because I think it's kind of tacky when you walk into a house and you have pictures of you all over the place. You are never going to guess who my neighbor is. When I first moved in, she rang my doorbell and was standing at my front door and she brought me a coffee mug. She's so sweet. So come on, we're going to find out who she is. Hey! hey. Apollonia is my neighbor. Can you believe it? The artist formerly known as Apollonia. This is Never Neverland. Beverly Hills. Your dreams come true. And you get neighbors like us. <laughs> Bye, Apollonia. Bye. That's my neighbor. She's so sweet. She's always looking out for me. And um, I don't know. That's it. This is my crib. I hope you had a good time. Bye. Starting this fall, get your weekly invite into the homes of today's hottest entertainers on MTV Cribs.
This is the queen of the house, which is Mimi. If you'll tear your leg off if I tell her to. Oh, sir, good evening. <laughs> I know you guys just watch me. Come along as we check out the pads of AJ McLean of the Backstreet Boys, Snoop Dogg, Wu Tang Clan, Sugar Ray, Joe McIntyre. Destiny's Child, Taylor Hawkins of Foo Fighters, Gavin Rossdale, and many more. New episodes kick off on Thursday, October 5th at 10 p.m.